Hey guys, so I'm back at this hot dog stand. I keep forgetting the name. I'll put it, I'll put it on the title. But I got a five ready. Just wanna leave some sort of tip with the guy. He doesn't accept it, but if you saw the last video, you saw how slamming the hot dog was. Just gonna wait a bit. I'm gonna get the spicy one. What's up, brother? It was amazing. Woo. Oh. Now I'm gonna do the spicy one. All right, you got it, man. Let me do spicy with the uh, uh, sauerkraut, mustard, and onions. Mustard, onions. Yeah, I want to. Uh, yeah. Do ketchup. Okay. No, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. I can't do two things at once. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I don't know. Like I said, you, I offer you a drink. No, no, I'm good, man. I can't balance everything. Only women can do two things at once. I can't. <laughs> How much is this one? Two dollars. Two? It's the same price. Thank you, brother. No, no, no. For you. Have a good one. I'll see you. Come on. Thank you, brother. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> I got everything here. Thank you, man. Look at that guy. He was following me. Look at that guy. He was following me. This he he the, he's a uh, he's a businessman. Let's leave it at that. He's a businessman. He knows how to get customers back, and it's filling up now. There's actually another line coming back of people on my left. They actually walk past, and, and we're getting their wallets ready, so they're coming back. How is he making money? How is he making money? This thing weighs five pounds. I'm barely holding it up. Look at this thing. I mean, I had a, I had a party in my backyard. I didn't give this much. Look at this. I didn't even give my kids this much. This guy's packing it all in for two bucks. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pause it, guys. Give me one second. All right, I had I had to prep it. I had to prep it because it's way too much. So it's walk up Columbus Street. Here's the first bite. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Right after I take another bite. Stop what you're doing and get your butts over here and try this hot dog. It's spicy. I'm not going to lie. It's spicy. And I turned down the guy's drink. It is spicy and it is amazing. I 
I don't know if you guys heard the interaction the, the, the customer had before me. He told the guy, because he has the hot dogs boiling, but he has two sections. So he goes, what's that section and what's this one? He says, one is to boil it and get it ready. And the other one is when it's ready, he puts it in there and lets it simmer a little bit. And then when it pops, then he's able to, to use it. So the guy has a whole system there and it works. He has a whole system and it works. Guys, this is... I'm gonna have to pause this again because I'm just making a mess. Stuff coming down the sides. Hold on. I'm a little surprised there's no more people on the street today. This is so good, I might bite my finger and I won't even notice. He charged me two bucks. And the sausage is just like three times the size of a hot dog. Yep, so we're on Columbus Ave and 91st. We're gonna see more people walking down towards uh, 60s and uh, so towards 80s and uh, 70s because you have the museum there. So there might be more restaurants, there might be more hot dog carts there. But I mean, I don't care if this is the last video I ever make. The only reason I didn't lick the tinfoil wrap is because you guys are here. If I was by myself in a corner, I'd be licking it up and down and not caring what people think. The spicy sausage, listen, I'm not, excellent. It's on par with the hot dog, but it just didn't have that pop that the hot dog did. But listen to this, 9.7, 9.7, the spicy one. Because he did what the others do, he cuts it in half, right? But not only does he cut it in half, he completely like fills it up with everything. I know I exaggerate a lot, so it wasn't five pounds, right? It was 10 pounds. Dude, my arm was getting heavy. Wow, I definitely need water. I'll get us a hell seltzer water. I want to walk a little bit because I, I want to really express myself as to what just happened. So I did two videos, one, a hot dog, 9.8. Tried to tip the guy, did not accept my tip. I told him I'll be back. Came around, I go, you know what? I'm gonna get the spicy one. I think it's about three bucks, right? I read there 253. I'll give him a five and walk away. He followed me to try to give me the money back, and I said no. Could you imagine that? Really nice guy, humble, knows what he's doing, obviously knows what he's doing. The guy's a businessman. He knows he's highly rated on YouTube, on, uh, on uh, Google. He knows people come to visit him. He laughs, right? When you tell him, you're like, oh, I came to visit you. He starts laughing. He knows. He knows. But he knows how to, how to play it so people come back. Because I'll tell you something, I'm definitely coming back.
Wow. Here's the other weird thing. Sometimes you have these hot dogs and you just feel stuffed nasty. It, this is like I ate it and it was so good that I don't, I feel like I, I could eat 10 more. I feel like I could eat 10 more of that. All right, we're getting closer to uh, museum. I think museum's on 81st. But, um... No, I'm not kidding. I'm on 42nd and Park. If you guys ever want to come here with me and you tell me, hey, Chris, I'm, I'm there, you know, I'm in Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you tell me, hey, on Tuesday, let's meet up. I will take the C train with you, right? So from 42nd and Park, we have to take the shuttle across to 42nd and Times Square. Then you take the C or B, go uptown. The C towards Queens and the B just uptown. And you get off on either 86th Street, or I think it's 98th Street or 96th Street and come down. But he's on 93rd Central Park West. And if you like to eat, we'll close the place down. Every time he flipped it open, he had about 10 to 12 hot dogs in there. So he's definitely stocking up. And it's fresh, right? He, you could see that the guy's just making it right there. The cart was extremely clean. Everything was fresh and clean. And he's making it on the spot. He's not giving you day-old hot dog or bread. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even talk about the bread. The bread was was incredible. It was soft but not soggy, right? It's not like he kept it in with the steam and just made it soggy. Oh, there's a shoe, shoe shine here. What? Do I dare? Do I dare? No, I don't think they do shines. Let me see. I don't see a chair for a shine. I'm not gonna just sit there. And now they got a bench. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, let's keep going. I just wanna show you a little bit so you guys can see that there is life out here. So we're on 86th Street, now it's picking up. I mean, I wish I could interview the guy because, like, 90, like, such a random spot, right? 93rd by Grand Set, by uh, Central Park, and there's no. There's, like, the, the, I don't think there's an entrance to Central Park there, like a main entrance. I think the main entrance is on 81st or 83rd. And he just picked that spot, and people go there. It's like, you know, he's not by a bus stop, he's not by a train stop. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm just going to walk up one block and then I'll stop filming. There's some spots here that I do remember a while back. I think P Pizza Pizza is kind of famous, but not too sure. So I don't want to tell you guys one thing and it's not true. But I think I do think Pizza Pizza is something famous about him. Yeah, pizza, pizza. I'm just too stuck. I can't have pizza right now. That's another channel. Guys, I am blown away by that guy. Not, not because the hot dog was amazing. He was just such a nice guy.
take a look at some of our restaurants here. Now, I don't remember who recommended this on West 93rd. I think it was uh, Eric, right? Uh, username Eric. And then somebody else also told me something. But I'll take a look. But thank you, guys. This was an eye-opener. I, I mean, it's going to be very difficult to find somebody better than that. Humbler than that and just better than that. Like the, like the guy loves his craft and he's got everything. He's got everything in order. He's got everything set up. All right, thank you guys. So the hot sausage, 9.7. And, uh, and this was good. This was really good. This made up for that nasty chili dog I had last episode. Whew. Took me all week to get over that one. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good one.